Hey guys, Hardcore Hector here, and I'm finally going to unbox my Persona 5 PS4 Collector's Edition, or Premium Edition, Take Your Heart, uh, well, let's call it Take Your Heart Premium Edition. You guys might have noticed I'm not showing my face because I'm sick as all hell. I might even do a voiceover when I'm not sick because, uh, this is just a crazy weekend. But I've had this since like April or whenever it did release and it has been sealed this entire time. But I'm a huge Persona fan so of course I'm going to open it up and I want to actually play it today. That's kind of why I'm doing the unboxing even though I'm sick. I wasn't going to wait for me to get better because I want to play it finally and it's December. It's almost Christmas time. And also, I got the PS3 Japanese Collector's Edition which I'll unbox later, maybe next week. So yeah, subscribe to see that. But for now, let's just open this up. Break the seal. So yeah, this came out on PS3 and PS4. It was, it took so freaking long to get from Persona 4 to Persona 5 and then people thought Persona 5 was just gonna be on PS3. Just like Persona 4 was on PS2 when PS3 already came out. So it didn't really take off until the PS Vita with Persona 4 Golden. Ooh. Okay, so there's just this empty sleeve, cardboard sort of. And how do you... Oh, it's like this? Is it magnetic? Yeah, it's magnetic! Awesome! Got my little cat plushie. I don't remember his name. Oh, uh, Morgana. Morgana plush. Might add it. Add it to all my other collectibles. Like my Vulpix and my Pikachu, etc, etc. Take a good look at it. From all corners. Sort of five tag. Wait, what the? What is this? Kind of looks like a plug or something. Well, I gotta play the game to really find out more about these characters, because the story of Persona can be really, really crazy. And people keep asking, oh wait, hold on, this is some awesome artwork. Look at that. Okay, there's that side, which you guys saw. And then there's that side. Pretty nice. Anyways, people keep saying, which Persona should I start out with? Well, Persona 1 and 2 are extremely old school RPGs. Might be difficult for most people. Persona 3 is kind of visual novel mixed with a dungeon crawling RPG. It's pretty cool, but uh, it's still not very user friendly. You can't even control your teammates. You can only control yourself unless you're playing the PSP version, Persona 3. Persona 4 is a lot more user friendly and it's cool. But I always tell people, do not play the Persona games if you don't like story. Because I played Persona 4, there is literally an hour of story and dialogue before I got to any gameplay in Persona 4 Golden. And this Persona 5 sounds a rebellion. See, this is kind of BS. This is just some simple CD for Persona 5 in the American version. The Japanese version has like five CDs soundtrack set or something like that. Why does Japan always get the good stuff? Whatever, those are those two things. And then we have this. Looks like a little bag. The Shujin Academy. Yeah, so can you see that? It's just like a little double bag, kind of small zipper. Anything inside? Oh, it's just plaid. That's kind of ugly. What else? Then we have Persona 5 art book. The aesthetics. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a quick flip. Oh, wait, no, here's an index. Protagonist. Oh, so it's split up into different characters, then attack images, other characters, art setting, illustration gallery, and commentary. So quick flip. I'm always like a kind of a sucker for the art books and stuff like that. I think all special editions should have art books 
and soundtracks. Not just this simple CD thingy that I got here, like a full soundtrack with art books. Maybe some DLC, although I kind of am against a lot of the DLC that we have now, especially freaking random boxes of junk for a lot of games. Oh, it's, it's a clear case. Cause I, I thought the PS4 boot part was actually on the case. It's not. Anyways, this is the actual game. Persona 5, PS4, Atlas, Mature. Oh, it's a mature game. I thought it was like teen. A group of high school students are out to reform Tokyo society, troubled by the deception and hypocrisy all around them. These phantom thieves will steal into the hearts of people and confront the problem from the inside out. 20 gigabyte minimum. And it has optional online play. Is it like Persona 4 where you can get like help? What is this? Steelbook case with some awesome artwork. Can you guys see that? That is so freaking nice. I just love special edition artwork sometimes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. American edition, even though it's expensive, doesn't include a ton of awesome stuff. I got some cosplay stuff, I guess. Um, I might cosplay as one of the characters if I like any character good enough. And SAC Anime is coming up in like three weeks, so we'll see. So that's pretty much it for the Persona 5 Take Your Heart Premium Edition, PS4 American Edition. Again, I'll try and unbox the Japanese PS3 version next week, hopefully, if I recover by then and I have the time. I gotta start playing this now, but you know, there's some cool stuff. I love the artwork. Wish there was more freaking music than this. These are all the songs, the tracks. I mean, come on. Come on. Anyways, a little bag for cosplay, maybe. Same with Morgana. Oh, yeah. And I'll try and put an Amazon link in the description to a listing of this if I can find it. Maybe even just a regular Persona 5 standard edition listing. And so if you want to buy it, you can use my link and I'll get a small cut of it, but it won't cost you guys anything extra. It'll just help keep my YouTube channel and my website running. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, especially since I'm so sick, man, I keep coughing. I might cut the coughs out. I probably probably will cut the co coughs out. So if there are, are jump cuts, if there are jump cuts in this video, it's probably because I'm coughing like all hell. Anyways, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and use the Amazon link, I guess, man. That's it. See you guys later.